Hello, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to get the parametric equations for the intersections of two surfaces. Recall back from your 2D two space equations. When you are given y equals to x squared and y equals to 2x, so you are asked to find out the intersection points between the two curves. In order to solve it, First, I sketch out the curve of y equals to x squared and y equals to 2x. And apparently, there are two intersection points here. So to solve it, you actually to substitute the first, actually equate the first equations to the second equation, which means the x squared equals to 2x. And you rearrange it to x squared minus 2x to get the intersection points, which is x at 0 and x at 2. And then you substitute back into the equations here to get the values of the corresponding y, which is 4 for the second point and 0 for the first point. And this is how you get the intersection points for two space curve. But what if you have two quadric surfaces or any three space surfaces and both of the surface actually intersect or cut across each other? So the intersection between two surfaces will normally give rise to a curve. Let's use the example of elliptic parabolate again, our favorite quadric surfaces. This is the typical standard form of elliptic parabolate, and it is being cut across by a plane of z equals to 4. So how are you going to find out the intersection curve of these two 3D surfaces? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We we'll just need to substitute the z equals to 4, the plane of z equals to 4, into the equation of the elliptic paraboloid. So when z equals to 4, x squared plus y squared equals to 4, which means that it is a circle, and the intersection curves that arise from the intersection between the elliptic paraboloid and the plane of z equals to 4 is a circle with a radius of 2. Now, let's look at another example, a little bit more complicated. In the previous example here, x is the independent parameter, whereas y is the independent. And in our vector value functions, remember the position vector value functions, r is the position, and r depends on the x and y component corresponding to the i and j axis. And at the same time, x and y both depends on the parameter t. So let's imagine this is a curve of the position vector rt and you have been asked you have been asked to find the intersection points of these rt curves with the y axis. And you draw out let's imagine this is the curve and it cuts across the y-axis here what information can you extract from this well you know when the curve cuts across the y-axis definitely the corresponding x value will be zero so x equals zero and what would be the value of y you know that the component of i is actually for x so you equal x equals to you take x equals to 3 plus 2t equals to 0 and you find out the value of t which is negative 3 divided by 2 and you substitute back to the y component the y component here refers to 4t so y equals to 4t and you end up with y equals to negative 6 so negative 6 is the interception point at y and now we move on to three space curves you have this position vector of rt equals to ti plus 1 plus 2tj minus 3dk, which intersects with another 3 space curve. A plane of 3x minus y minus z equals to 2. So, how are you going to solve it? Recall back from the 2 space solution here. How are you going to find out the intersection point? It's actually when the x and the y values of the first equation similar to the second equation, right? So similar concept to be applied here, where the x component of the position vector here should be similar to the x component of the plane here. So we know that from the position vector, 
the i component refers to x so x equals t y equals to 1 plus 2t and z equals to negative 3t so you have the values of x y and z in terms of the parameter t and you substitute into the plane of 3x minus y minus z equals 2 and then you solve it you get the value of t equals 3 over 4 so what is the coordinates of the intersection between the curves and the plane well you substitute back the value of t into the x y and z and you end up with the coordinate of the intersection points